You can hop online and get a live look at hundreds of places in Utah, and now you can get a live look at wildlife migration. Here to tell us more about the program, Daniel Olson, the Migration Initiative Coordinator for the Division of Wildlife Resources. Daniel, thanks for being here this morning. You're welcome. We're happy to be here this morning. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is a cool website. What is it? What's it for? So uh, the d we just rolled out a new website that kind of highlights um, wildlife movement throughout the state. Okay. So the state started a brand new program. Um, to, to really document wildlife movement. And so we're putting GPS tracking devices on all kinds of species throughout the state. Awesome. Yeah. So you guys have been tracking animals with GPS for years. Why is it important now that you guys are kind of integrating that and letting us kind of get a glimpse? Yeah, so the, the technology's been evolving over the years and now it's getting to where it's, the tracking devices are really small and so we can tag almost mm. any type of species we want. But the important part of this tracking data is it shows us really precisely the types of habitats that animals use hmm. and how they get between those habitats. And the reason why that's really important now is obviously Utah is a fast growing state. And so there's a lot of things happening. There's new businesses being built, new houses being built. Um, the roads are getting busier. And so that can make it more difficult for animals to move long distances like they typically do. Got it. And so if we know exactly where they're moving, then uh -huh. we, can, we can work to help preserve that movement and keep those movement pathways open. Cool. Yeah. Can you give me some examples of the animals that we can see when we go on the site? Uh, yeah, so um, we're tracking a lot of our bigger animals, things like deer, elk, um, bighorn sheep, cougars, bears. Um, but we also we do also do work on birds. We have some really interesting tracking data on pelicans. So mm -hmm. some of our pelicans, they live in the Great Salt Lake during part of the year, and then they migrate all the way to Mexico, and they, oh. and, they and they go back and forth. So this isn't just yeah. a map of Utah. This can be. This is like a. This right. is massive. Right, yeah, so some of these species are using part, different parts of the country. Some of them leave the country. Interesting, yeah. cool. So this, this data is obviously really important for you guys, you know what I mean? It's your job to track these animals. Right. What do you hope that like the general public gets out of it when I go on and see these, these dots that represent different animals? What do you hope I do? Right, so I think what I would hope is that the public can kind of get a, a feel for how these animals live their lives, kind of mm -hmm. see it from an individual's perspective of what these animals have to do throughout the year to be able to survive and to be able to raise su successful um, uh, offspring. And mm -hmm. so I think the tracking data helps you see that. You see the small areas they live in and how they respond to conditions like when, when, it, when winter hits and the snow gets deep up in the, in the hills. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our species have to be able to move down because they can't move around in that deep snow and they can't find food. And so you can see that in the tracking data that they make these movements. Cool. We're obviously not tracking every individual animal. How, how many animals do you kind of catch and uh, attach a GPS to? Right, so that's the exciting part, is uh, in the past we were only able to maybe catch like 30 or 50 animals just in one part of the state. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we're tracking thousands of animals throughout Whoa. the entire state. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay, where can people go? Where can they get more information? Okay, so our, our website, um, to access our website, you have to go to wildlife migration. Dot Utah dot gov. Okay, or and we're seeing that right here on our screens. Perfect. You can also get to that link from our website, abc4.com slash JMU. Daniel, thanks so much for being here this thanks morning. Thanks for having us. Thank Very you. cool. Yeah. Brian? All right, thank you, Sarah. The time